today we are at what's the name of this place? Vineyard on the Brinks Golf, and we're about to play nine holes. Wish me luck. We're just getting nine in. It's hot as heck out. Local golf course. It's just a little par three here in Nashville. And uh, yeah, then I think we're gonna hit the co-working space and try to get some more work done. What do you think? First drive was 340 yards. Hit three Teslas on the way down. Yeah, it's going good so far. We're not playing the best. This is like my first round of golf in like six months, so. This is my first round of golf in six years. I'm not <laughs> Morning guys. So it's Friday now and um, this week has been really crazy with everything trying to get the brand launched and get our website up and running. We had this really nice sheets that the team created to keep us organized and on track to get our, our V1 or our MVP launched. As you've maybe seen in the last couple videos, I've been talking about that a lot. So um, that kind of helped us stay on track to get everything from getting our name sorted, getting our incorporation sorted, getting our EIN sorted, getting our SOP sorted, which have taken up a lot of time. Um, getting your standard operating procedures is, it was a really important step because this is kind of the opportunity to take that time and create these things and really dial them in for the scaling that we're planning on doing. So we're really jazzed, but this document, this sheets, it, it just helped us stay really organized. And like I said, there's a lot of moving pieces and parts to just starting a new company, something that's been really exciting for me over the last few weeks and since we started this journey and something I guess that I'm, I'm learning about myself, which is really exciting about, you know, this process and documenting it is that I'm really enjoying the process of starting this and getting it going with, with partners who are not only holding me accountable, but also holding themselves accountable to, like I said, things like on this action item tracker are a great example. Um, you know, we all have tasks on there that are dedicated to us individually and some are, are a few of us. It just feels really good. It feels really good to, to feel very accountable for a team success again. It, yeah, so anyways, um, I don't want to rant and ramble too long. Um, it's Friday and I thought a different angle for this video in this series could kind of be um, showing you guys how I operate my Fridays and Saturdays. My time blocking for my Fridays and Saturdays is usually quite a bit different than my Monday through Thursday. Um, I'm still on the same like sleeping schedule and stuff for Friday, but I'm trying to do this YouTube thing and stay consistent with it. So this morning, first thing, um, got up, got some work done, but also had one of these YouTube videos go live. So I'm trying to stay on top of that and stay consistent with it, with posting about it and, you know, being live for the premiere, which was really fun. Only a few people joined for it, but it's still really exciting. Um, yeah, that, that was a little bit different because I'm just trying to like be present and be around for that. So the last few days have been unbelievable out here in Nashville. So got my breakfast in me, got my deep work done this morning got the premiere done and uh, I will absolutely be riding today so though I'm working Fridays and Saturdays and most of the time a little bit on Sundays um, I don't you know want to just show the fact that I'm um, working a lot especially now with launching the new business but I also want to show the back end and the things that I enjoy like riding bikes and uh, you know road slash gravel biking right now and mountain biking. So for this video, instead of doing, you know, just business or very heavily focused on this new business, which I still will be, and I still wanna offer some tips and tricks on things that we're going through this week, just like I have in the last two videos, kinda of thought it would be fun to, to walk through my Fridays and Saturdays as they are definitely a bit different than the rest of the days of the week. Definitely trying to get some mountain biking in this weekend. Definitely gonna get some gravel slash road biking in today it's beautiful and it's only like 75 out i still have some meetings to do today and i have to get a pitch together for a potential ads client that we're working with um then i have meetings with my partners and uh yeah i'm really jazzed to bring you guys along so welcome back to another video and uh let's dive in Morning. It's about 9.30 a.m. Um, on Saturday. Just having my morning coffee. Hoping to get over to the mountain bike trail here within the next 30 to 40 minutes. I've ridden here one time before and uh, it was a good time, but they were a little crusty after a storm. So it's only like 15 minutes from, from where I'm living now. So um, yeah, I'm really stoked. So I got the mountain bike all cleaned up, got the tires all pressured up, got the suspension all gassed up and whatnot. So we're gonna try to get the mountain bike legs back under me. So stoked. Go fast through the woods.
All right, so the video has been a little bit more chaotic than, than normal lately. It's kind of been all over the place, but doing random things with Ben while he was here, but also, you know, staying on task and working, but also taking the latter part of the week and even into the weekend and kind of revisiting some of the things that that I love. Um, I had some time this week to, to do that and I really wanted to make sure I was. It's just been a really busy few weeks and a little bit of a chaotic few weeks, so I thought it would be a really good mental reset. So instead of doing a normal business tip and trick, which we'll re-dive into next week, I thought it would be really cool to touch on something that um, I kind of just mentioned and that is just allowing yourself a little bit of space and freedom to, to dive into the things that you love creatively or physically or whatever it is outside of work. For some people, you know, it, it may be knitting, it may be riding bikes or running or hitting the gym or shooting photos, whatever it is though, I think it's really important to take those breaks and to see things outside of what you're building, whether or not it's it's gonna spark something in what you're building or not. I think that's another, you know, maybe separate discussion, but nonetheless, it just helps you get your mind off of, of the chaos that's that's happening within building a business or even in life. That's what I want to talk about. And the first thing would be just carving out time for yourself. So no matter how busy life gets, especially when you're in the thick of building something, I think it's almost imperative to to take time for yourself. For me, that, that time lately has been revisiting bike riding. So mountain biking, uh, road biking, and even my BMX bike just a little bit, which I ended up doing this weekend. So whether it's just 30 minutes or a couple hours throughout the week, I think this is, it's got to be kind of a non-negotiable. I think this, of course, will help reset the mind, refuel the body, and, and just reset your focus. So I'm a huge proponent of the idea that physical and mental health, that they go hand in hand. So for example, writing for me isn't just about getting a quick hit of dopamine or for any thrill necessarily, but it's about staying sharp mentally and physically. I think that taking just a little bit of time every day or throughout the week doesn't mean you're falling behind on whatever you're building necessarily. In fact, I, I think quite the opposite. I think that in the, the long run, it will keep you ahead. I think that physical activities boost mental well-being and, and vice versa. But that's just for me. So it's important that you find your thing. Again, whether it's photography or knitting or maybe it is cycling, maybe it's running, maybe it's weightlifting. Allow yourself that, that space to just to recharge. And the third thing that I came up with and kind of just wrote down on, on some notes that I wanted to touch on was find your version of balance. This literally could be anything that allows you to reset. It's really just doing something that you love outside of work and and again, that really does look different for everyone. So whatever it is, give yourself permission to take the time to, to enjoy that thing. Balance is, it's not about doing everything perfectly. It's about staying sane while you while you chase the dreams of, of whatever this is for me building these businesses and and enjoying the process those are my three little points that i wanted to touch on this week um it's been really important for me so hopefully just seeing this inspires you to pick up something that you love maybe maybe you've been slacking a little bit on on doing those things because work's taken over a little bit too much of your life. Yeah, I hope this I hope this helps a little bit and I hope that someone watching this takes a little bit of inspiration from this and uh, dives into something that they love or, or revisits a past passion. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this video here and jump into the next week. Um, if you made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate it and I'm really stoked on, on creating these videos and I'm having a hell of a lot of fun uh, documenting this journey and next week, I'm hoping, we're uh, gonna be ready for launch. So that'll feel really good to get this thing off the ground and running and uh, maybe it'll be time to share it with you guys. So thanks again. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys next week on the next video. Peace.